Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to explore the power and capabilities of the Pandas library in Python. Let's dive in. First, we need to import the Pandas library using import pandas as pd. The pd is an alias it just makes our code a bit neater and faster to type. Then we use the pd read underscore csv function to load our csv file sales underscore data dot csv into a pandas data frame. Data frames are essentially tables, or 2D arrays, with rows and columns just like in an Excel spreadsheet. The head function prints the first five rows of the data frame. This is useful for quickly checking whether our data loaded correctly. Next, we clean the data using dropna. This removes any row that has at least one missing or null value. We then replace any zero values in the quantity column with the median of the column. This is just one approach to handle zero values and may or may not suit your specific situation. Next up, we're creating a new column, total price. That's the product of the quantity and unit price columns. This will give us the total cost for each sale. With the group by method, we're grouping our data by product ID. For each product, we calculate the total quantity sold and the total price. This is a very common operation in data analysis when we want to aggregate data based on a certain field. To find out which product had the highest total sales, we use IDX max. This function returns the index of the first occurrence of the maximum value, which in our case is the product ID, with the highest total price. We then filter our original data frame to find all sales records where total price is greater than 1000. This could help identify high value transactions. Finally, we save these high value sales records to a new CSV file using the to underscore CSV function. And there you have it. This script showcases some of the key capabilities of the pandas library, including data cleaning, transformation, aggregation, analysis, and saving your results. Of course, pandas can do a lot more, and we'll cover these in our future videos. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding tutorials. Happy coding, everyone!